Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Reach coming to you tonight. SmackDown was freaking awesome. Uh, I honestly don't sit down to watch SmackDown a lot, but uh, it was a basically a pretty good wrestling show to watch for you know for two hours. It is what it is. Uh, I didn't want to review the whole show. I was sort of in and out doing some things, packing for uh, my trip coming up, and uh, so it wasn't a you know, full on viewing. But from what I saw, I really did like uh, moving towards uh, towards SummerSlam. But the end of the show, monumental moment, Damian Sandow's first tease in with cashing in his briefcase. I think it's really cool what he's done to upgrade his briefcase. Normally the guys have to run around with the red or the blue. Um, back in the day, like Rob Van Dam spray painted, you know, uh, Mr. Money in the Bank on there. Some guys have uh, sort of customized uh, the case while they've had it. Some guys have just sort of left it uh, the way it is. They just beat the hell out of it when they're smacking people in the face with it all the time. Uh, Ziggler's who got used pretty much, I think, as far as the longest of anybody that have the money in the bank, bank briefcase looked looked pretty shitty when he actually went to turn his in. So uh, Sandow, you know, sort of having it fit his gimmick uh, with a new look, I think, is really really cool. Main event for tonight's show: Alberto Del Rio versus Christian. Christian was able to pick up the victory as he was um, sort of. You know, celebrating his win, Del Rio was pissed. He lost uh, in a non-title match. And he wanted to come in and he wanted to have some words with Christian. They had a little bit of an exchange. And Christian just fucking hit him like a sack of shit and dropped him with, with his finisher. Uh, left him laying in the middle of the ring. Christian hit it. He didn't really even celebrate again. Just sort of took off. You know, you would think that he would sort of like say, you know... Um, you know, I'm going to do it to you again on Sunday, sort of, you know, do the Stone Cold Steve Austin when you drop that on your face and flip you off a few times after he hit you with the stunner, stunner just to rub it in a little bit more. Christian just took off nonchalantly, walked towards the back, and once he got there, Damien Sandow music hit, and he came down there to, to what it looked like cash in and become the new World Heavyweight Champion, beating uh, Alberto Del Rio. Uh, at the last minute, before uh, anything can happen uh, and the match gets started, Cody Rhodes hits the ring. It was pretty good. It was pretty exciting. It wasn't until after I was breaking down the show and thinking about this, that, and the other. That that's pretty fucking retarded. I know that Cody Rhodes hates Damian Sandow. Their, their tag team broke up. He had a shot to become Money in the Bank. His buddy stabbed him in the back to, to, to win it for himself. And so, you know, they're going to fight at SummerSlam. They have a match. It's already planned. It's already booked. It's ready to go. Del Rio and Christian, they have a match for the World Heavyweight Championship. But, hey, at the bottom of every time they put out a card, it always says card subject to change. They've done angles before with belts of, you know, switched hands, and they've still had to go on and have the match um, at the show. Uh, there was one, um, oh, shoot, Head Shrinkers against Bam Bam Bigelow and IRS was supposed to be a tag team match. Uh, I think that was SummerSlam 94. Uh, it was the opening match of the card, and house show before SummerSlam, they switched the titles. Their match still went on. It wasn't a title match. Cody Rhodes had a golden opportunity. If he just went, have went out there and maybe monitored to make sure Damian Sandow won his match and became World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Sandow would have been the World Heavyweight Champion, and he would already have a match booked to become the number one contender. Yeah, Del Rio and Christian still had a match, but it would just probably just get booked as just a normal one-on-one -on -one encounter. Um, by him breaking this up, Cody Rhodes did one of the dumbest things ever. And uh, for anybody who thinks that I'm breaking this down a little bit too much, and um, you know, not really making sense of this, uh, last um, Monday Night Raw before uh, WrestleMania, Bret Hart versus Stid, uh, steel cage match on Monday Night Raw. Um, you know, they're they're fighting it out, they're battling it out. They already have matches booked. This is the last Raw before Mania. Stone Cold Steve Austin was facing Bret Hart in an I Quit match. And then uh, Psycho Sid was facing The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin, as a character, pretty fucking smart. Came out there to fucking handle business. He hated Bret Hart. Hated everything about him. Wanted to make sure he's the guy that was going to rub it in his face and he was going to kick his ass at WrestleMania. But... If Bret Hart won this match, he was going to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Which means, at WrestleMania, he would get a shot to have that belt. So he came out there, and he started whooping Sid's ass to make sure he was going to get it. Undertaker, on the other hand, he saw his title shot going out the window and didn't want it to lose. So he came down, and he started whooping ass uh, to make sure that um, Sid wasn't going to lose that title. 
in the end, uh, Bret Hart, this is the beginning of the uh, Bret versus Vince thing uh, as a television angle. Uh, in my mind, it was the start of the uh, Attitude Era. One thing led to another. Psycho Sid got the win. Bret thought he got screwed through a big old uh, temper tantrum. Pity party out there in the middle of the ring. Screw you, Vince. Screw you, Vince. This, that, and the other. One of my favorite wrestling moments of all time. One of the things where you just really can break it down. And even though it's professional wrestling, and yes, it's scripted, and it, this and that, it's all predetermined what's going to happen. It's one of the things where they strip down the walls between baby faces and heels, and uh, titles matter. Maybe titles don't matter anymore, but uh, what could have been? I know it was just a SmackDown. I know that it was just, you know... A basic angle, the push-up, Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow, that Cody hates Sandow this match, that he wasn't going to let him become World Heavyweight Champion, but if Cody's so sure that he can beat this guy, he could have just strolled into SummerSlam with a title match and became World Heavyweight Champion. It doesn't seem like he has a sure-shot way of getting there anytime soon, so maybe to have him doing that would have helped him out. 